As the COVID-19 pandemic continues, there have been reports of children with a multi-system inflammatory syndrome that shares clinical features with Kawasaki disease and toxic shock syndrome. Children who present with clinical features of MISC should be tested for severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2. Initial reports of MISC emerged from the United Kingdom in April 2020. The majority of cases in the United States have been in New York. In terms of epidemiology, black children may be disproportionately affected. By contrast, classic Kawasaki disease typically affects infants and young children and has a higher incidence in East Asia and in children of Asian descent. A post-infectious process is suggested based on the timing of the rise of these cases relative to the peak of COVID-19 cases in communities. CDC defined multi-system inflammatory syndrome by meeting all of the following criteria. Age less than 21 years, fever more than 38 degrees, laboratory evidence of inflammation, severe illness requiring hospitalization, at least two organ systems involved, no alternative plausible diagnosis, recent or current COVID-19 infection or exposure, COVID-19 exposure within four weeks prior to the onset of symptoms. The case definition put forth by the WHO is as follows, age 0 to 19 years old, fever of at least three days, elevated markers of inflammation and no obvious microbial cause of inflammation, including bacterial sepsis and staphylococcal or streptococcal shock syndromes, evidence of COVID-19 infection or contact with an individual with COVID-19, and clinical signs of multi-system involvement, at least two of the following, rash, bilateral non-purulent conjunctivitis, mucocutaneous inflammation, hypotension or shock, cardiac dysfunction, pericarditis, valvulitis, or coronary abnormalities, evidence of coagulopathy, acute diarrhea, vomiting, or abdominal pain. Presenting symptoms include fevers, abdominal pains, vomiting, diarrhea, rash, headache, confusion, respiratory symptoms, conjunctivitis, mucous membrane involvement, sore throat, swollen hands and feet. Common clinical findings include shock, criteria met for complete Kawasaki disease, myocardial dysfunction by echocardiogram or elevated troponin or BNP, acute respiratory failure, acute kidney injury, serocytes, and acute hepatic failure. The initial laboratory evaluation for children with moderate to severe symptoms include CBC, CRP, ESR, ferritin level, liver function test and LDH, serum electrolytes and renal function tests, urinalysis, coagulation studies, troponin, CKMB, and BNP. For mild symptoms, it is reasonable to perform a more limited evaluation initially. All patients with suspected MISC should be tested for COVID-19. Testing for other viral and bacterial pathogens include blood, urine, throat, and stool culture, respiratory viral panel, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, enterovirus, adenovirus. This testing is appropriate for children with moderate to severe MISC requiring hospitalization. An extensive infectious workup is generally not necessary in well-appearing children presenting with mild symptoms. Cardiac evaluation includes an EKG and echocardiogram. Echocardiogram is also recommended for children with documented COVID-19 who do not meet all criteria for MISC but who have either shock or features consistent with incomplete or complete Kawasaki disease. In children with mild COVID-19 without signs of systemic inflammation, echocardiogram is generally not necessary but may be considered. Coronary artery abnormalities can progress to aneurysm, including giant coronary aneurysms. Key point, bring your child to a doctor if he or she develops fever, abdominal pains, diarrhea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, rash, pink eye, swollen hands and feet. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe for more health tips.